South Africa and we are back with a very special guest. It's none other than former NC Youth League leader Zuma Acolyte and the mayor of Ikuruleni. It's Mzwandile Masina. Hello, sir. How are you? Long time, my friend. How are you? It has been long time. I'm very well. I have a show now. I, know. I see you even have a tie and a suit now. I know. Things, I know. It's almost like... They must be paying you very well here. No, I don't get any of the money. Uh, I'm a puppet. <laughs> but you know what that's like. You're in the ANC. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, there are no puppets in the ANC. Oh, you got my... <laughs> Do you not know Colin Miner? Well, if that guy was any more of a puppet, his first name would be Takalani. Listen, man, um, the, the ANC manifesto, well done. You've done the launch. Can you sum it up for us in a, in a moment? Well, it's a very important manifesto that talks to the fiscals of the country. Mm. As you know, that uh, everything that you say you'll do to the South Africans, uh, you must have the money for it. Uh, so we are covering things like uh, jobs, uh, like skills, like the economy, which uh, for us is critical, but also the health of the nation, amongst other things. So we are quite happy. We think that the manifesto is balanced and it talks to the issues that uh, the nc led government must do on yeah. behalf of the uh, South Africans. Yeah, it sounded to me more like blah, 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 more of the same, <laughs> to be honest. You guys have been promising jobs for 24 years and you've lost, you know, youth unemployment is at but 50%. You, wait, 50%. But you, do you know that uh, since the advent of democracy, we've created uh, over 7 million new jobs? Jobs, but no, the, wait, pro the problem wait, is, okay, this is wait. No, you under Jacob to, Zuma, it dropped no, by like 27. You, you must go and check at the stats as a you will see that uh, there are 7 million new jobs that have been created by the economy. But is no, wait. The, uh, the demand Just of the economy is wait. such. The economy has grown because there are more, there are like double the amount of people in South Africa. You're comparing the economy of apartheid to the economy now. There's a whole lot of screwed up things you're doing. I mean, that really is a ridiculous idea. That's like saying you're not racist compared to Helen Zilla. It's a ridiculous, <laughs> totally ridiculous thing to do. <laughs> No, not quite. Uh, look, we've done a lot as the ANC government over the past 25 years. A lot of stealing, to be honest. A lot of stealing. Well, there are a few individuals who are stealing, and all of them are in the commission now, and I'm sure you can see them. Yeah, I can. I want to ask you about that in a moment. But first of all, I need to deal with something. You, you had, uh, you're, you're in charge of Kuruleni, and you had the, uh, you know, you had a qualified, you guys, you know, had a clean audit. That was amazing. Well done. Well, we have a good audit going, and we think that there are a lot of areas of improvement. Uh, it, uh, it's a good sign that uh, we can govern even as a young lead, younger leaders of the African National Congress. I'm, I'm quite uh, encouraged. I'm well, the, that is a big concern in the ANC, is uh, the young leaders are not just making it into the leadership, into the top six. Aren't you worried about that? Well, uh, my worry is that young leaders in the ANC are not united. They don't speak in one voice. Time has come for us to speak in one voice. Otherwise, we'll all dissipate in South Africa. Well, why don't and you I send Gwede to work at Posasa or something? I mean, I think <laughs> I can make some suggestions. Well, you can uh, ask Uncle Gwizi. You I can give me a voiceover I, art or something. I, I think, <laughs> <laughs> you I, can get him to sing all the songs uh, like you tried to set up for I, Jacob Zuma. Like, I think, uh, I, I think uh, uh, Uncle Gwizi is doing well as a Minister of Mineral Resources. I don't know. He's getting security from Posasa is what I heard. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, it still has, has to be proven. That's a fact. I know, but you guys have a bit of a thing in the ANC. I mean, have you been watching the Zondo Commission? Yes, yes, I have been watching. Aren't the... you freaking out a little bit? Like think, everyone, I like think everyone I... is dirty. We are freaking. There are a lot of elements that should not have been in the ANC in the first place. But for me, what is important is that all the allegations level against individuals, especially leaders of the ANC, there has to be cross-examination so that you have two sides of the story. That's a fact. But the problem here is that the ANC, uh, through, through state capture, has let the NPA and our justice system fall apart. So there's no way to prove this because you basically we screwed it up. No. It's like going, you can't prove it, but you <laughs> broke the microscope. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, look, uh, no, we quite, have, quite, actually, we, quite. We have, we have a new uh, NPA head now. Uh, yeah. advocate uh, uh, who said that she's going to be doing a lot of work independently right. and we have confidence and we think that she will be able to do some Absolutely. work to restore law and order in South Africa. Absolutely. So, so I saw that you on Twitter that you want us to nationalize the Reserve Bank. Now, dude, South Africa, SAA is broke, SABC is broke, ESCOM <laughs> is totally screwed. It's screwed harder than a, a model at a Kenny Kuneni party. I mean, will, will this, will, why are you still acting like the ANC knows how to manage state-owned enterprises? Well, we've always managed the economy. We found no, you haven't. You wait, have wait, not wait. always. Chester, we were literally Chester. in a recession just right have now. Just to listen first. Uh, in 1994, when we came in here, our fiscals were dry because of apartheid. Yeah. We built and rebuilt our economy to the point that uh, it was booming. So yes. where, where we are now... But you uh, know what happened uh, there? Yeah, just you let me... You know what happened there? Yeah, yes, let me Zuma. tell you. Zuma! Zuma happened there. Zuma was a good president of the ANC. Oh, my God! 
Of course. You clearly he don't did. read any newspapers. Are you wearing your fact-resistant underpants? I am not a product of newspapers, uh, Chester. Uh, Zuma built 700 new schools. He built three universities in the country. He helped us to reduce the HIV AIDS, and the list goes on. But so wait, to, to but say, the problem to with that, Chester, the problem Chester, with that, Chester. the problem with those facts is there are things that would have happened anyway. Zuma also destroyed the economy by destroying trust in our state-owned well, enterprises. He sold Eskom to the Guptas, no, and he destroyed our no, justice system. No, so no. now we don't have any investment, and we have no, 20, 50% unemployment. That is not correct. Zuma did not sell Eskom to the Guptas. Yes, he did. Is in no. He did. It is. It is not true. He did. He no, gave it no, to them. No, he no, you're right. No, he no. didn't sell it. He freaking gave it to them no, for no, nothing. No, no, no. That is why in South Africa today we have for a um, debate. Combati. The debate is must we unbundle ESCOM and um, the, we are very clear that uh, it will be a very dangerous uh, move from the ANC government to do that. Uh, so, so, so it is not true that Zuma sold ESCOM. He did. Uh, he no, gave it away. No, you're right. He didn't. I agree. He Eskom gave it still, to the Guptas. No, no, no. It's not true. It's a, it's a, Have it's, you not seen Arnold Singh and Coco with those guys? It's just your imagination, my friend. L listen, Tagita was clearly had connections with Dudizane, and if they forced through contracts to allow coal, I mean, they clearly gave it away. No, let me tell you. Uh, what the uh, Guptas were doing there, I'm sure you, you, can, you can see it through the state... Uh, state uh, uh, there's uh, the, the Zondo Commission. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. It was actually nothing. Uh, we have not scratched the surface of corruption. Yeah. We must face uh, what, uh, what has been happening. Yeah. Listen, man, uh, you and uh, Malusi Gaba are very big friends, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. That's my fantastic. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, l listen, um, has he ever borrowed your cell phone? For what? <laughs> Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I don't want him to do that thing that he showed South Africa. I'm Please, sure he's not borrowed your cell phone. phone. Uh, no, not quite. Listen, listen man. Um, <laughs> Listen, you said you would stand by him even though he was found to have lied to Parliament. I mean, did he pay no, you to say that? No, no, no. The fact is he never lied to Parliament. Uh, no, but you know that the Constitutional Court found no, that he had. No, so just, you're disagreeing just, with people who are let's, clever Let's help each other here. Um, Comrade Malusi uh, uh, refused that the, the fire plate must be established. Yeah. Uh, he only gave in a, a prior approval to say if it was going to be a terminal co um, uh, entry point, yeah. uh, it, it could be done. Yeah. But when he learned that it was going to be an international port of entry, he refused extensively in an 11-page paper that he wrote. Uh, but the courts in South Africa chose to ignore it. So... Uh, he has not done anything, but my friend. But Constitutional I'm sorry. Court disagrees with you. I, that's all it I know. Listen, it, final thing, final thing. What percentage do you think the ANC is going to get in these elections? Overwhelming majority of South Africans. No, you're out. <laughs> you're so out. You're so out. No, we, we, we are going for an uh, overwhelming majority of the country. And, uh, oh, you, you we in are charge of the very... East Rand, aren't you? You're in charge of Kurile. Yes, yes, yes. Are you aware that you are the mayor of the biggest racists in the country? Have you no, considered exporting no, that, them to Perth? That should be Cape Town or somewhere. They're not Egorulene. We are very much... Uh, never been to, uh, we, you have never been to the East Rand more. <laughs> that was uh, um, Zwandile Messina. Thank you for coming on our show and good luck in the elections. Thank you. Thank you, my That's friend. That's a nice jacket, you by must, the way. You must come and uh, campaign with me. They must see I'm, I'm friends with puppets. Oh, you, dude, you know Colin Miner. <laughs> you have puppets all around you. You're a Jacob Zuma fan. I love this guy. That's Mzwandile Messina. Thanks for coming on Almost News. This is Almost News. I'm Jester Messina. Goodbye. Yeah.